circuit is started for the boys and girls of school. Everyone is on that is, except Tommy. Tommy always has trouble getting to school on time. He's late more often than early. There's the school up ahead. No need to hurry. Can't make it on time anyway. But when Tommy does get to school, everything in Miss Hill's room stops until he settles down in his seat. Being late for school hurts Tommy all right. He misses part of the lesson. But what's worse, he hurts everyone in the room. They all miss part of the school day. Getting to school on time is part of being a good citizen. A good citizen is one who plays for others and does his part so that everyone can work and play happily together. Lee has been given the job and so he will be able to find his way. Being a big brother or big sister to someone who must learn new things quickly can be a lot of fun for you and a lot of help to the other fellow. Anne's sash is untied. Her friend Alice notices it and offers to tie it for her. This is a job Anne can't do very well for herself and you can be sure she is thankful for Alice's help. There are many ways you too can do little things for other children at school if you just watch for the chance. Doing what you can to help others is an important part of being a good citizen. A part of nearly everything we do is getting ready to do it. To get ready for her spelling lesson, Susan makes sure she has the right book on her desk, plenty of paper for writing, and a pencil that has a good sharp point. Lois didn't bother to think of these things ahead of time and look at the trouble she is in the room now. Thinking about what you are going to do before you do it means you won't have to disturb others and it's another way to be a good citizen at school. Soon it will be recess time and the children are anxious to go outdoors. Before they leave the room, Miss Hill asks them what games they would like to play. Johnny wants kickball and Mary prefers tag. By raising their hands when their favorite game is called, the boys and girls are voting their choice. Outdoors, everyone is happy because he knows that even though they may not be playing his favorite game, some other day they will play it and then everyone will join together to make it more fun for him. Doing things together with others in your class is part of being a good citizen. Harvey is the happiest boy in school. He likes to visit with his friends and say hello to everybody he passes. The other children and the teachers too like Harvey because being cheerful helps to make everyone feel better. Helping to make school time more fun is part of being a good citizen. Everybody in Miss Hill's room likes painting time, but it can be a messy job if you don't get ready for it. The children use old newspapers to keep their desks clean. They wear paint shirts or aprons to keep their clothes clean. Helping one another can be part of the fun too, for we all feel better when we are friends with other people. Kenny does his best to keep the paint where he wants it instead of on the floor. And by knowing ahead of time what he wants to paint, he is making a picture that he can be proud to call his own. Doing your job the best you know how is part of being a good citizen at school. Jane is making a book cover out of her last week's finger painting. She made it especially for her speller and the new cover not only looks gay and pretty, it keeps the book neat and clean. Uh oh, someone missed the wastebasket. Tossing old papers without watching where they fall 
is a careless habit. That's better, Jimmy. Picking up papers that lie on the floor, even though they were dropped there by someone else, is a better habit for everyone to practice. Being careful and neat is part of being a good citizen. When lunchtime nears, the children in Miss Hill's room put away their books carefully and line up at the door. They know that shoving and pushing and changing places won't get them to their lunch any quicker. And besides, it's bad manners. Outside, it's best to walk to the lunch table and to look the same way you were going. When you play with the big ball, be sure no one is in front of you when you throw it. Thinking about the other fellow, what might happen if is called playing safe. Playing any other game. And the prize for winning is not getting hurt. Helping to keep your school a safe place is an important part of being a good citizen. Dick sits in front of Fred and not only doesn't do his work, but bother behind him. When you destroy something that belongs to another person, he must buy another to take its place. When you destroy something that belongs to your school, the money to buy another must come from your parents. Being careful not to destroy what belongs to other people is part of being a good citizen. Sometimes the children of Miss Hill's room are doing different things. On one side, the boys and girls are going to read. They've taken the books from their desks quietly so they won't disturb the others. The children in the middle of the room are working their arithmetic problems. They keep quiet too so the others can work. On the other side of the room, the children are studying spelling words for tomorrow's lesson. They do it by themselves or talking to a neighbor sadly so as not to disturb others and minding your own business instead of the other fellows. It Teresa Lee came to Grovedale last year from Italy. Most of the children in Teresa's room didn't pay much attention to her because they thought she sounded funny when she spoke. Last week the children put on a festival and Teresa's folk dancing oh. Her mother made a lot of good Italian cookies and candy, too, and brought them to the school. She told the children how people live and eat and play in the far-off land of Italy. Now, every boy and girl in Miss Hill's room are to be his special friend, and they're having a lot of fun with their new pal. Looking for the best things about everyone and helping them get along with the whole group is one of the most important ways to be a good citizen at...